Okay, fishing fans, today is Tuesday, July 30th, almost August already, and we're coming at you. My name is Matthew Upton of Roths, and we are coming at you with another version of the overall view of the Northeast conditions via sea surface temperature and ocean color data. To give you an overall view of what's going on from offshore from uh, Massachusetts to Cape Hatteras. So let's take a look. Uh, the water's cooled over the last, some of the water's cooled inshore, especially over the last week with all the wind the last week, but we just had the Huck tournament finish up. Um, Tri-State finished up a week ago or so, tournaments. And now we're almost into August where we have the White Round Open, Mid-Atlantic, Pirates Cove, um, Beach Haven, a bunch of, or coming up this week is the big game tournament. Out of, out of Nantucket so we're amping up for a final run of the of the most productive fishing season so let's take a look what's going on here the Gulf Stream has pulled up back offshore a little bit and now 85 84 degrees and it's coming up this way and down and it's really taken a um it's coming up a little bit. Remember this out east, it, this was way down last week. It's coming back up, which has allowed the Gulf Stream to push a little bit offshore more. And that's allowed some of this, some of these eddies to, to meander down over to the southwest. Now what's happened before this week is the Gulf Stream did make a push up, shed some water. There's some filament water here pushing down. There is, I believe, a Oh, sorry, wrong way. Counterclockwise, Eddie, right about in this area. You can't see it too well, but there's a clockwise eddy right over Hudson Canyon. Counterclockwise eddy here, east of Hudson Canyon. So some sort of push of water up here. Looks pretty good between um, block or over fishtail to the dip right now. This water's all coming down this way. There's actually an eddy in shore here. Um, let's take a look down here. A lot of a lot of one to two degree breaks and not a lot of features offshore in the in the you know Toms to Norfolk Canyon. But what we have out east is I believe there's a clockwise eddy way off a of hydrographer. Maybe a counterclockwise eddy, it looks like, off Atlantis. This water's coming down, getting entrained by the Gulf Stream. Um, but let's see here. We have some nice boundaries out east. I don't think there's a lot of fish caught for the tri-state. Um, but there's some nice filaments and edges inshore all the way from really you know, Montauk area all the way down through here, some nice inshore water mass boundaries that has to be decent for tuna in some places over good structure. Further south, we have, I know there's a clockwise eddy off of Poor Man's, a counterclockwise eddy somewhere between Wilmington and Baltimore. So there's some, there's some decent choices of water offshore right now. Especially up, I know um, the, the better tuna canyon was Wilmington Canyon last week. And there's some fish caught in Tom's. Linden Cole Canyon was good with tuna last week. A uh, few fish caught off of in the dump site east of Baltimore. A uh, few fish caught in, in Norfolk Canyon, I believe, more like Blue Marlin sailfish. Further down south, you've got a nice, cool green filament here with the with some rotation down here, but a nice filament coming off south of the cigar and the fowl area off of Oregon Inlet. Gulf Stream's pushed kind of way in right now down off of North Carolina. Um, but just keep an eye on everything. And, and we got some, the White Mountain Open starts next week. So good luck to all you guys there. I will actually be in Cape May and want to visit Ocean City, Maryland for one or two days next week hook up with some clients. There's also uh, some sort of clockwise rotation here, pushing some nice water up and in north of Atlantis, north of West Atlantis Canyon. 
And then way out east, I mean, we're still taking a taking a peek. There's a counterclockwise flow here, but a nice big clockwise eddy way out east. And that's that's starting to approach Powell Canyon. So this is within reach for um, some of you guys out of Massachusetts here. There's some good, good water. It'd be really interesting to see what's in this water here south of George's Bank. Approaching probably the next couple of weeks, approaching hydro, maybe next week. So let's look at the corresponding ocean color data. We had some cloud problems out east, but you can still see the main features and the main water. You know, from Tom's to Norfolk, you got a lot of clean green, blue green, maybe blended blue at best down here between Lindy and Wilmington. Um, the Hudson Canyon seems to be declining a little bit with conditions. Some nice turbid green water coming down. This nice edge here inshore, actually, for tuna would be good, I would think. And you can see the Gulf Stream there and some blended blue water coming down this way. Some nice edges up north of Atlantis and north of Fishtails into the Fishtails to dip area right now. So, yeah, stay tuned to Roths and give us a shout for some more detailed detailed conditions and where to find the fish till next time